Mr. Bozar is Steve Beerbaum. Uh, how you doing? Uh, the property owners of San Antonio Heights and Upland have won a major victory with Judge Cohn's statement of decision regarding the county's illegal annexation scheme. The judge stated, quote, Thus, the geographic expansion of the service zones within the district by San Bernardino LAFCO was simply beyond its statutory authority. By doing so, San Bernardino committed prejudicial abuse of its discretion. He further states, quote, that aspect of the annexation is therefore void, and the tax was improperly imposed on taxpayers within the newly annexed territory. The tax must be enjoined. The county and the city of Upland violated property owners their state constitutional right to vote on taxes. Unfortunately for the Upland residents, Upland City Interim Manager Marty Thuvenal put the residents on the hook for paying attorney's fees of the county that could approach millions of dollars. That's the letter up there. Thuvenal signed this letter on December 5th, 2016, agreeing to defend, indemnify, hold harmless, Promptly reimbursed San Bernardino LAFCO for cost of all reasonable expenses, attorney's fees. It states, I acknowledge that the annexation of the San Bernardino County Fire Protection District may result in the imposition of taxes, fees, and assessments existing within the city or district on the effective date of the change of organization. I hereby waive any rights I may have under Articles 13 C and 13 D of the State Constitution, Prop 218, to a hearing, assessment, ballot processing, or election on those existing taxes and fees. The taxes referred to never existed in San Antonio Heights or the City of Upland. They were special property taxes paid by the residents of Hellendale up in the high desert. The Upland City Attorney likely would have reviewed and approved this letter. Upland's new city manager was the deputy city manager when she wrote the staff reports. Upland City Council recommending the approval of this annexation scheme. They, along with Mayor Debbie Stone, need to be held accountable. The newly elected council members need to take decisive actions to stop the further mismanagement of Upland. They need to consider if there's an opportunity to request for, to request for proposal for fire services. During a special city council meeting on January 16, 2019, newly elected council member Ricky Felix stated that the Upland doesn't need a financial watchdog. Let's hope Ricky and the other council members become watchdogs on the behalf of the Upland residents and hold accountable Upland officials responsible for this.